Hello students, once again welcome to Bonanath Academy. Now in rotational dynamics students, we are going to derive the expression for kinetic energy of a body rotating with constant angular velocity. This is the body students, it is a rigid body which is irregular. Now it is rotating with constant angular velocity. Here I have shown the angular velocity symbol that is omega students. This body's whole body is rotating with angular velocity. That is the constant angular velocity omega. Consider rigid body rotating with a constant angular velocity omega I students. This way you have to start the answer. Consider a rigid body. This is the rigid body which is irregular and rotating with a constant velo angular velocity omega bar about an axis. This is the axis where from which it is rotating. Passing through the point O. Consider this irregular body is made up of n number of particles. Let students, let m1, m2, dash dash, mn mass of particle at a distance r1, r2 and rn understanding so these are the first particles having mass m1 second particle mass m2 and you can write nth number of particles having mass mn now they are present at a distance r1 r2 and rn understanding this irregular body is made up of what n number of particles let students the we are going to consider the velocity of each and every particle which are present on these irregular bodies let v1 v2 and vn be the linear linear speed let v1 v2 vn be the linear speed of particle of mass m1 m2 mn understanding students we are considering let m1 v1 v2 and vn are the linear speed of particle of mass m1 m2 and mn now students how the linear velocity and angular velocity are related understanding first the particle will perform linear velocity understanding then it will go to the angular block. so linear velocity is equals to r1 omega understanding understanding students the linear velocity of first particle is equals to radius of the particle from from the axis that is r1 into omega now when you are talking about the velocity of the second particle students the velocity of second particle linear velocity of the second particle is equals to the distance from where it is from the axis that is r2 into omega understanding students similarly students nth number of particle will also have it is uh, equals to rn into omega understanding students so this is this way linear velocity is related with angular velocity understanding students because it is making angle so there will be what radius will be there so you should also consider this r1 distances so understanding students now we are going to see let kinetic energy students let kinetic energy one this is the kinetic energy of the first particle kinetic energy of second particle now this way you can consider the kinetic energy k e n of the kinetic energy of the nth number of particle which are performing translational kinetic energy of the object now students kinetic energy of first particle you can write half m1 v1 square understanding students now v1 value you know r1 omega because it is square so you can write r1 square omega square so kinetic energy of first particle in terms of omega students half m1 r1 square omega square kinetic energy of the second particle will be half m2 v2 square that is half m2 r2 square omega square understanding same way students you can find find out the kinetic energy of nth number of particle which is also equals to half mn v1 square which is equals to half mn vn square omega square understanding students rotational kinetic energy of object or body is not then what will be the kinetic energy rotational kinetic energy of the whole object now this we are talking about the each and every particles now we are talking about the rotational kinetic energy of object will be the sum of the kinetic energy of every particles understanding students so rotational kinetic energy is equals to kinetic energy of first particles second particles and nth number of particles now add this value you just substitute the value students half m1 r1 omega square r1 omega square plus half m2 r2 square omega square plus half dash 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 plus half m1 vn square omega square now you have to take half com because half is present in everywhere so you have to take it out this is because it is common in all expression so just take it out now here students omega is also same so you have to take the omega square outside like this understanding students now you will get half m1 r1 square plus m2 v2 square plus dash 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 mn vn square and omega you have taken common now what happens students this kinetic energy total kinetic energy of the body equals to half this is nothing but it's summation of summation of m i r i square where i equals to 1 to n and omega square as it is now this is nothing but i i is nothing but called as moment of inertia because there is a moment it is rotating now students that is why there is a creation of moment that is what we call as moment of inertia 
with the help of this inertia means it is rotated so you have to calm down the inertia so how kinetic energy is related with inertia so that is equals to kinetic energy equals to half i omega square half of i omega square understand students where i is i is equals to summation of m i r i square where i equals to 1 to n is the moment of inertia body about the axis of rotation or for a rigid body understand students so moment of inertia is also is equals to what this is the mass students small mass and this is the distance so moment of inertia is also equals to what summation integration because integration and summations are both the same thing understand students now you have written integration symbol that means we have to integration of r square and this is the small mass we are going so this is also equals to rigid body so the moment of inertia equals to integration of i square dm the so moment of inertia students is nothing but mass into distance square now students if you write, write down the dimensions students mass m1 and because it's distance students l2 and there is no time so you have to t0 this is the dimensions of moment of inertia students now here students this way we can see how the moment of inertia and kinetic energy have the expression so these are very important expression if you want to solve the problems these expressions are you should know you should know this expression kinetic energy equals half i omega square these are very important students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you